Now this is a church that has a dome on top. Many, many churches have steeples, but there are some that have chosen to put a dome on top. Now, probably unknown to most people, <laughs> they are using symbols in the occult world. So this dome represents the feminine power. As you can see, it could be construed as a female breast or possibly the womb. In any case, it represents the female power of the hoax lie system. Hoax lie system consists of male power and female power, positive and negative, yin and yang, God and the devil, good and bad. And it tries to combine those two powers to do witchcraft on you and me. So, you can be observant for churches. Most have steeples, which would be the male phallic symbol or the rod of Nimrod. But some churches actually do have a feminine type symbol on the top. Now this is no offense to anyone attending any church anywhere. And probably 99% of the people within the churches have no idea about the symbolism of what's over top of them. But now you know, and you can be watching. This world is controlled by the devil. Doesn't mean everyone in a church is controlled by the devil. It doesn't necessarily mean all the pastors or preachers are controlled by the devil. It doesn't necessarily mean that any church that I'm filming is controlled by the devil. It's just that these symbols are placed there. And most likely they're placed there by architects who either do it knowingly or unknowingly. Or perhaps even the church itself desires to have a steeple because everyone has a steeple. But I thought you'd like to see the feminine aspect of what decorates the skyline in many communities. Now there is one who broke all the powers of evil and the evil one and that's the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you do go to a church that has a symbol on it above, remember that the true power and the true authority is in the Lord Jesus Christ and that you're not under these powers. To Him be praise, honor, and glory. This concludes the video.